welcome to Aventuria, where I'll show you some of the contents of the upcoming Stories and Legends Kickstarter, starting with the rulebook of the Mythical Stories box. As you can see, it's pretty short, but pretty interesting, I can tell you. And this rules set serves to make the narrative between combats more interesting. And there's um, many aspects to that, one of which I will show you now, which is uh, decisions. This is basically the main part. Here the starting hero may decide how the story will continue, very much like a choose your own adventure. adventure. This is uh, Mythical Stories Book 2. And you can see here the legacy of Wildenstein, the director's cut, which means the comet is more or less the same, but uh, the narrative has these interesting sections here. And for example, in this box the uh, current starting hero, that is the player with the starting hero token, may decide to go for some inquiries or acquire riding horses or split the group and try both things at the same time. And depending on what decision he takes, the whole group will then go to either uh, entry 1, 2 or 3. Where is it? Over here. And then the story will continue. So this is explained here in the rules section. So there's uh, also group decisions that the whole group can take. Those are usually uh, the really important decisions. But mostly it's always the starting hero and once they made their decision they will hand the starting hero token to the next player in line. So every player has the chance within the narrative part of the adventure to at least once or twice make an important decision for the whole group. And then there are many more interesting components which I will show you in the upcoming segments. Thank you very much and I will see you there. back with part two of our preview of the upcoming Aventuria Stories and Legends Kickstarter. This time we are showing you a little bit about Fate Cards. Fate Cards at the start of the game. As you can see there are four different kinds of Fate Cards. This is the Reserve and then the Fate Pile consisting of one card each and is then refilled during the adventure. And also during the adventure you are sometimes asked to draw a card from the Fate Pile. This ensures that you never know exactly how a decision will play out in the adventure and thus keeps the story exciting even when you already played it a couple of times. So that means the replay value is also increased. And for a little example, let's take a look at the Night Watch. So this is a situation where the heroes camp out in the wilderness at night and then they draw a fate card and when they draw a fortune or a great fortune nothing bad happens but when they draw a misfortune something bad happens actually and when they draw a great misfortune something really bad happens and uh, the story will continue from there. So this represents fate itself but also in role-playing games terms a capricious game master turning the game even more into a real role-playing experience. So, that's it for Fake Cards. See you next time. Hey, what's going on everybody for part 3 of our Aventuria Stories and Legends preview. Today we take a look at resource cards. They are used in the new story mode and represent certain positive or negative influence factors during the story. Here you can see all of them and they will work as follows, for example, this is a Mythical Stories adventure book and here the heroes have made inquiries and depending on their success they place a certain number of adventure tokens on the information resource card. And then further down they are able to gain additional adventure tokens on the information card. And then down here, spoiler alert for playing the adventure, Depending on the number of tokens, this then affects the story. That's it for resource cards. See you next time. Ulysses Spiele, Christian here. 
Today marks not only the beginning of our Aventuria Stories and Legends Kickstarter, it is also Nyan Nyan no Hi. So we will present to you what we in Germany like to call cat content. So these four cats here you might already know from the previous Kickstarter. Whereas the wild cat, the house cat, the castle cat and the Tulamedian palace cat are new cards that you can buy for adventure points during the campaign along with many many more cards totaling 147. And how you can acquire those cards I will explain to you in the next segment. Please hit the like button, please share with your friends and please support us on Kickstarter. See you next time. Hello you absolute legends. Today we will talk about spending adventure points in the new legend mode. So here you can see the proficiency stash of the elf scout Hilariel. As you can see it consists of 22 cards in total. The first 11 cards are level 2. You can see the Roman numeral 2. And of these you have the hero card, the talent card, and nine action cards and then we have the same for level three and then at the end of an adventure you can spend your adventure points on upgrading your cards it costs you one point to raise an action cards level by one and three points to raise the level of your hero card or talent card but this is only one option to spend your adventure points there are some more all of which I will explain to you in the upcoming episodes. See you then! Welcome to part 6 of our Aventuria Stories and Legends explanation, where we tell you everything about the rules of the new story mode and legend mode. If you haven't seen the previous parts yet, you can check them out further down in the timeline. Also, if you have specific questions, please ask them in the comments. Today we dig a little deeper into spending adventure points between adventures. This is where the locality sheets come into play and this is what they look like. After playing an adventure and before you play the next one, each hero takes three of these sheets and rolls a d20 on each of them, applying the results. For example, let's say you take the elf settlement sheet and Roll a 7. So then you have this result here. A warrior from Gjaldsland is visiting today and has brought with him an enormous beast. You've never seen anything like this. So you make a willpower test and when you succeed, the mammoth tenderly wraps his trunk around your shoulder. Oh, she likes you, the Gjaldsklander says with a laugh. I'll sell her to you if you wish. So then you get a selection of the Mammoth, which is an action card level 3. This is what it looks like. This means it's now in your selection and you can buy it for 3 adventure points if you want. Or you can buy any other cards that are available to you from your proficiency stash or otherwise. So that's that. In the next part, I will show you even more ways to spend adventure points between adventures. See you then!